Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. An alien cat is sent to Earth with a mission to collect information before the entire planet is destroyed. However, after being adopted by a human family, the animal comes to the conclusion that humanity must be spared and must prevent the planet from being invaded. Today we will recap the story of the 2017 movie, Meow. In a distant galaxy, there is a planet inhabited by mysterious creatures whose location is in the meteorite flow zone. Because of this, the planet Meow, which is home to a much more civilized population than Earth's, began to decline, causing the felines to make the hard decision to abandon it. Thousands of years ago, the king sent a group of soldiers to check the living conditions on Earth, but none of them ever returned to the planet Meow. What happened was that felines began to be treated as gods by mankind, who devoted all their love and devotion to them. Now, thousands of years later, King Meow decides to restart his invasion mission and summon Similu, the greatest of warriors, to pay a visit to Earth. His task will be to contact the warriors who have been there for thousands of years and gather information regarding the viability of living on that planet. During his stay in the human world, the feline will have to use an artifact that will give him the power of the Meow warriors. If he loses that artifact, Similu's body will disappear and he will lose all his incredible powers. After receiving all the directions from his king, the warrior sets off on his way to Earth to accomplish his mission. In Hong Kong, Sao Lung, a retired goalkeeper with a brilliant track record, is debuting his first job as a soccer match commentator. However, early in the game, both he and his team realize that the former goalkeeper has no talent at all for narration, and he is dismissed. The year before, Sao Lung received a lot of money after his last soccer match, but ended up losing all the money and had to start a new business to support his family. Since then, the man has gone on to sell all sorts of products, from technology items to neckties with hidden pockets for storing cards. His wife, Lai Chu, is a frustrated actress and model who, during her entire career, has only managed to work on the worst advertisements in the country. Nowadays, she devotes herself to taking care of her family and in the morning wakes everyone up as gently and efficiently as possible. That way, everyone can have a nice breakfast to start the day with lots of energy. Yao Choi is the eldest son of the couple and likes to record videos while playing tricks on the neighborhood residents. However, time and again, he gets into trouble when he is caught by the police. His dream is to become a film director, and as a hobby he spends his time taking strange pictures. Finally, Yao Yao is the couple's youngest daughter and was born with a disability in her left leg that prevents her from running and walking without the help of equipment. Despite this, the young girl tries to lead a normal life, just like the other children. However, during gym class, her teacher always prevents her from playing with her classmates for fear that Yao Yao will get hurt. Because she is different from the rest of the class, none of the children want to be her friend and some even make fun of the poor girl. Sad and lonely, Yao Yao is walking home from school and decides to stop in a park to watch the clouds. Lying on the grass, she asks God to send her a good friend. Meanwhile, in space, Similu is on his way to Earth, and only when he crosses the atmosphere does he remember that he has not checked the planet's weather report. Minutes after arriving at his destination, his ship is struck by lightning, and during the crash, the feline ends up losing his valuable artifact. After the accident, Similu lands in a forest and walks through that strange world in an attempt to reconnoiter the place. Just then, Sao Lung is leaving the recording studio when he receives a call from Mr. Lam, his boss. The man always says that he will organize a soccer team for the former goalkeeper to lead, but always gives a new excuse as to why he has not yet fulfilled his promise. This time, he is going through a crisis in his relationship and has to go after his great love, who is already on her way to the airport. The man intends to go on a trip, but has no one to take care of his cat. So he decides to ask Sao Lung to take care of him for a few weeks. Believing that he will have his own soccer team when Lam returns, Sao Lung decides to accept his request and that night informs his family of the news. Lai Chu does not approve the idea, but decides to accept the feline into her home with the hope that her husband will have a new job in the coming weeks. It has been a few hours since Similu arrived on the planet when he spots a colorful parasol and remembers that this is where his artifact fell. The feline then runs towards him to catch him, but discovers that he has lost his powers and is now no longer able to make great leaps. After the fall, the creature hides as it spots a vehicle approaching Sao Lung's residence. Mr. Lam has just arrived to drop off his cat and Similu realizes that his body is disappearing. At that instant, the alien remembers King Miao's words and reminds him that he must transform his body to resemble an earth creature similar to him, otherwise he will disappear forever. Then, Simailu spots Mr. Lam's cat in the trunk and decides to copy the feline's appearance while the two men are talking inside the vehicle. Seeing the monster transforming right in front of him, the cat is frightened and decides to run away. At that moment, 
Mr. Lam receives a call from his girlfriend and asks Cao Lung to go and get the animal from the trunk. What he didn't realize is that Sai Sai Lei is a giant cat, which is almost 2 meters tall. He then guides the animal to his house, but when Lai Chu sees the creature, she is so frightened that she faints. Everyone is startled by the cat's size, except Yao Yao, who is enchanted by the animal from the first moment she sees it. After a few minutes, Cao Lung manages to wake up his wife, who decides to go and face the monster in a duel. Yao Choi films the entire battle as his mother tries to strike the feline, but is stopped by her husband. After the sudden attack, Sai Sai Lei is furious and plans to use his laser beam to eliminate the entire family, but soon remembers that he has lost all his powers. Seeing the giant cat winking at her, Yao Yao runs to hug him and decrees that from that moment on, he will be her best friend. That night, Sai Sai Lei issues a signal to summon all the warriors of his people to a general assembly to gather information about that planet. During the early morning hours, when he finally joins his companions, he feels disappointed, as he realizes that everyone has been completely tamed. When questioned about why they put themselves through this, the felines claim that the life of a domestic cat is much better than the one they led on planet Meow. Finally, the group suggests that the best solution is for the king and his servants to travel to Earth to be welcomed by humanity. Furious, Sai Sai Lei says that those warriors are despicable and decides to set an example for them. His first mission will be to destroy his Earth family, and then he will begin his plan for planet domination. He then takes a knife from the kitchen and slowly walks down the hallway to the couple's bedroom. However, when he opens the door, he finds Lai Chu. However, the, the woman has a such menacing facial expression that it causes Sai Sai Lei to fall from the second floor of the house. At that instant, Cao Lung wakes up startled and pulls his wife back to bed. Since he knows that his wife sleepwalks, he always ties a rope around her neck before going to sleep to prevent her from running away in her sleep. After the fall, the cat gets up and decides to break into Yao Choi's room. However, the young man is prepared and attacks Sai Sai Lei with his toy gun, believing that it is his mother who is trying to wake him up to go to school. During the attack, the animal ends up stepping on a socket and is electrocuted. After recovering from his fright, Sai Sai Lei tries his luck again and crawls into Yao Yao's room. He intends to use his claws to attack the girl, but, seeing the young girl sleeping, he does not have the courage to hurt her. Instead, he decides to take a break from his Machiavellian plan and lies down on the carpet to take a nap. The next morning, the whole family gathers in the kitchen for breakfast and Cao Lung tries to get Sai Sai Lei to eat, but the cat refuses the food and even drops a plate of noodles on his head. After numerous attempts, the man gives up and the whole family leaves home to fulfill their commitments. Hours later, when they return, they realize that the place is completely destroyed, as Sai Sai Lei has gone through all the furniture looking for his lost artifact. After a failed search, the animal got hungry and is now raiding the refrigerator. Seeing all this mess, Lai Chu is furious and attacks the creature, but Cao Lung manages to contain his wife's fury by kissing her. After the scare, the family gets together to organize the whole house, and during the cleaning they find objects that have been missing for a long time. Lai Chu is thrilled to find the bracelet she received as a gift from her mother. The object had been in the family for three generations and the woman believed she had lost it. Now that she has found it, everyone thanks Sai Sai Lei for the mess, and he is disappointed by his terrible performance in causing intrigue among those humans. Therefore, the creature decides to test a new strategy and poisons the milk that has just been boiled. During dinner, Cao Lung serves a plate of salmon with potatoes to the feline and Sai Sai Lei devours all the food quickly. So Lai Chu goes to serve some more salmon to the cat, and at this point he discovers that the fish he just ate was cooked in the poisoned milk. Immediately, Sai Sai Lei feels a strong stomach ache and runs to the bathroom, but he can't get there in time and ends up leaving his mess on the way. That night, while standing outside the house trying to recover from the food infection, the animal spots two thieves approaching and opens the gate for them to break in. Upon hearing the noise, Lai Chu wakes up and calls her husband so that they can both check what is going on. As they come downstairs, the couple spots the robbers in their kitchen preparing instant noodles and are soon taken hostage. The children appear next, as they were attracted by the screams, and soon the whole family is tied to the ground. The robbing duo orders Cao Lung to hand over the most valuable items in the house, but the man claims he has nothing of much value and presents his wares to the men. While he is distracting the thieves, the rest of the family spots Sai Sai Lei outside the house and advise him to leave so that he doesn't get hurt. Upon witnessing this act of love from the humans who took him in, the cat feels sorry for what he has done and decides to intervene. The entire family is in danger when Sai Sai Lei starts meowing to get the burglar's attention. Curious to find out what that creature is, the men approach and are met with a powerful blow that hurls them away. At that moment, the whole family stands up and thanks the animal for saving them. 
Receiving the affection of those humans, Sai Sai Lei is happy and wonders why he likes this feeling. The next morning, when she arrives at school, Yao Yao finds out that she is among the students who scored low on the math test, and the next day, one of her parents will have to attend school. When she gets home, the girl is thoughtful and tries to find a way to break the news to her mother. But when she sees Sai Sai Lei among the clothes on the clothesline, Yao Yao has an idea. The next day, the girl takes the cat in costume to school and claims that it is her mother. Upon seeing the creature, Mrs. Cam is surprised and asks her to remove her mask. However, before Yao Yao could follow her teacher's orders, Sai Sai Lei sneezes and throws the mask in the woman's face. Afraid of catching some disease, Mrs. Cam allows the creature to put on her mask again and starts talking about Yao Yao's terrible performance on the math test. At that moment, the cat spots a little bird in the window and begins to chase it. Then the teacher feels sorry for the girl for having such an unbalanced mother and decides to hug her in instead of complaining about her low grade. When the weekend comes, Cao Lung takes the animal to have fun in the park, but he discovers that he prefers to play at home. And more and more Sai Sai Lei feels attached to that family. On Monday, Yao Yao is surprised to find that her father has picked her up from school and finds out that he will be taking her to the doctor to check the condition of her leg. However, before they leave, the physical education teacher approaches them and reveals that she is a big fan of Cao Lung. Miss Li has followed the former goalkeeper's entire career and watches his hands as tears of emotion stream down her face. The woman then reveals that there will soon be a school championship and invites Cao Lung to participate. In order to be more participative in his daughter's life, he accepts the invitation. When she arrives home, Lai Chu sees two men distributing posters with her husband's picture and soon discovers that he owes them a lot of money. All the neighbors stop to watch Cao Lung, being attacked by his wife who then throws a can of paint at the collectors. When he enters the house, the man tries to explain himself, saying that he borrowed the money to pay the mortgage and start his business, but Lai Chu is still furious and hits him once again. In an attempt to calm her down, the man kisses her again and manages to reassure the beast. Unexpectedly, Yao Choi receives a phone call and discovers that one of the videos he recorded of Sai Sai Lei has gone viral. Now, numerous companies are trying to sign advertising contracts with the animal. In the following weeks, the whole family works in the recording of TV commercials and advertises the most different kinds of products together with Sai Sai Lei, the big star of the advertisements. Before long, the cat becomes the symbol of different brands and his face is printed on thousands of posters. The creature is even invited to make a special appearance in a movie, in which it represents a hero who saves his family from the clutches of a sorcerer. In the end, however, the whole staging serves only to advertise the new brand of potato chips that bears the Sai Sai Lei seal of quality. In a boxing ring, during a recording, Cao Lung has an accident after saving the life of the feline, who almost had his head smashed in by one of the bulbs. After the many things he experienced with that family, Sai Sai Lei came to love them and realized that he no longer wants humans to be eliminated. While recovering from his injury, Cao Lung goes to a restaurant for lunch and is approached by three men claiming to be antique dealers. After a few minutes of conversation, they manage to convince the man to buy the treasure map for 3 million yuan, money he received as payment for the commercials made by Sai Sai Lei. Lai Chu is at home with her children when she receives a call from the bank and discovers that her husband has withdrawn almost all the money the family had put away in savings. Immediately, she gets into the car and asks Yao Choi to find her father's location on his cell phone. Following the young man's directions, Lai Chu drives through the chaotic city traffic to meet her husband. Suddenly, as Cao Lung is handing over the money to the scammers, Miss Li appears and starts talking to him. It doesn't take long before Lai Chu arrives at the restaurant and, after striking Professor Li, the woman discovers from a TV news report that the three men in front of her are fraudsters. She tries to recover the money that her husband gave them, but the gang gets away with the money. After taking a picture with Sai Sai Lei, the trio gets into a car and manages to escape. After he realizes his mistake, Cao Lung tries to apologize to his wife, but this time his wife is not willing to forgive him, because that money would be used to pay for Yao Yao's surgery. Furious, Lai Chu decides to end her marriage and leaves with her children. That night, when he returns home, Cao Lung reveals to Sai Sai Lei that he feels guilty for having destroyed his daughter's chances of walking normally. The surgery that the girl would have was to correct the deformity of her leg and would cost 5 million yuan. This amount was close to being reached, but now the couple is back to square one. The next day, after school, Yao Yao goes to visit her father, and Sai Sai Lei is very happy to see her. Immediately, the girl runs to hug him, and meanwhile Cao Lung is sitting in a bar trying to get in touch with his wife, but she is not answering his calls. When she gets home, Yao Yao invites her mother to go to a high school running competition and says she will compete with her classmates. 
However, since her former husband has already confirmed his attendance, Lai Chu refuses to attend, and Yao Yao is disappointed in her. The next morning, after getting really drunk, Cao Lung is dragged by Sai Sai Lei to a soccer field and positioned in front of the goal. Back to his roots, the man blocks all kicks from the cat while remembering the good times he had with his wife and children. Ever since he arrived at the house, Sai Sai Li had planned to destroy that family. However, now that his mission was a success, all he wanted was to make that home go back to the way it was before. Suddenly, while walking outside, the feline finds his lost artifact and decides to use the magic of the object to reunite his family. The school race is about to begin, and Yao Yao is sad because her parents haven't shown up yet, and she thinks she will have to face the obstacles on the track alone. Minutes later, Cao Lung and Lai Chu show up, but when they meet, they soon begin to argue. The man tries to make peace with his wife, but she ignores him and goes to the stands. However, when the race begins, Yao Yao has an accident, and the couple rushes to help her up. The girl then begins to cry and reveals that she is sad to see her parents fighting. Seeing the sadness in her daughter's eyes, Lai Chu regrets what she has done and decides to forgive her husband. A few meters away, Sai Sai Lei watches the family gathered together and becomes emotional. When she sees his friend, Yao Yao runs to hug him. In this instant, the cat asks the family to join hands and uses the power of his artifact to communicate with all of them at the same time. The creature reports that it came from the planet Meow on an exploration mission, but will be leaving Earth very soon. When this happens, a spell will be cast that will make the humans forget their existence. Upon hearing this, the family is saddened, but understands that Sai Sai Lei needs to return home. However, Yao Yao reveals that the relay race is about to start and asks her friend to wait to see her run before he leaves. Cao Lung and his family shoot ahead, but when it is the girl's turn to pick up the baton, she comes in last place. Still, Yao Yao does not give up and keeps running until she completes the circuit. Suddenly, the equipment attached to her leg begins to loosen, and the girl is able to run perfectly. Seeing the miracle happening right in front of them, everyone is moved, especially Yao Yao's parents, who can hardly believe what has just happened. The young girl knows that it was Sai Sai Lei who healed her with his magic artifact, and looks in his direction to thank him. However, she soon realizes that the feline has already left. As soon as Yao Yao completes the race, the alien is transported to his spaceship and, before leaving, emits a burst of light that makes all humans forget his existence. Back on the planet Meow, the feline needs to be accountable to the king and states that due to the high pollution rate and the creatures living on the planet, the Earth is a terrible place to be inhabited. Therefore, it is not worth invading. Therefore, having failed in his mission, Similu is condemned to never regain his original appearance and is doomed to live in the body of a chubby cat for all eternity. Weeks have passed since the feline returned to his home planet, but he cannot forget his earthly family. One day, while watching the stars, he spots a spaceship approaching and several dogs come out of it. The alien then discovers that those animals were on their way to Earth and decides to hitch a ride with them. Upon arriving on the planet, Similu quickly goes to visit his family, but when Cao Lung opens the door, he is startled by the giant cat. The same happens when the rest of the family shows up and the feline realizes that his family no longer remembers him because of the amnesia spell that was cast. Saddened, the alien decides to leave, but he is soon surprised with beautiful news. Despite the spell, his family never forgot him and were all anxiously awaiting the day when the beloved Sai Sai Lei would return. The love that Cao Lung and his family felt for the creature made them keep remembering it even when all the other humans had forgotten, because love is not only present in the memory, but in the heart. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.